series. But uh, a lot of people have uh, rang in and have written to me that they want me to do this uh, section again. So I'm going to do it now. It's how to draw a boat using the figure eight. We're going to start off here. All you do is the figure eight like this. And then we'll do another one there. We'll do another one here. And another one here. Now at this stage, you can't see any boat, but if I do that, you can now start to see where the boat is going to appear. So if I join that up like that and take that from there up, now you can start to see the boat. I'm going to reverse this now because you have these, these two sides. So if I take it here and come back like that and like that and again now you can see the boat either way. Let's just take it a stage further now. We'll go back to the first one. Here. Like that. And then you cut off the back of the boat. Like that. It might not just be that straight actually. Like that. And the same then for this side here. You get your marks in and then cut off the back of your boat. So then your boat shape, if uh, we take it from here, goes like this. From there, it runs down to here, across here, and that little piece there. And then you can, with a little bit of artistic flair, you can just bend it slightly and link up that and there's your boat. And as I said you can reverse that to this side as well. I'll do it here. There's the back of the boat. There's the front of the boat. Link this up like that. This is called the transom. And then you just link that up there and there. So there's the two. From the, using the figure eight, you, as you can see, there's a boat in two different directions. Now if we take here, for example, um, well, I, when I draw, I don't do this anymore when I'm drawing boats. I'm so used to doing it, but this is how I learned myself how to do it. But if you can take your, your boat like this, there's your, the front of your boat and the back end of the boat is down, it's called the transom, it comes down like that and then the boat's in the water like this. And then you can put a little man in here like this, he could be fishing and then from that then you can start to build up a picture of, of what you're trying to do. Now you could, you could add in, if you wanted, a distant headland like that. Maybe a little bit of something here. So you, as you can see, you can build up a picture within a picture very, very quickly. I'm just going to put a little bit of colour on that just to, to show you what I mean. Just take a little bit of blue, a little bit of sky there. I'm just going to do this very quickly. just to create this little vignette, vignette small painting. Now, same colour, maybe a little bit darker maybe, just for the mountains area. And again, we don't want to go overboard here, if you'll pardon the pun. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to bring that mountain down to about there. And I might just let him stand out from the distant mountain, like this. Now this is what's called counter change. The counter change is putting light against dark, not in the pub after you order a pint 
waiting for the barmaid to come and bring back your change. So, if we just take it like that. Now you can see my man is highlighted here. I just want to get a swipe of colour in, in front of him now. There we go. So we have our sky, our distant mountains. He's standing out now against the dark areas. And uh, just get a little fishing rod in here. So as this starts to dry, we can put his darker tones now on top of that. So we'll just do that now. So our indigo, a bit of water. Get his head in first. There's the body. I want to get the boat done. Now you can leave a little line between where you've painted, like that. Just a little white line. Get him in the water like that. And remember, doing your figure of eight, this is where you'll learn to do this. As you come more proficient at doing this, you won't need you won't need your figure of eight anymore. But it's a very good learning point. In here. We get our reflections in. Remember what I said, reflections are wet, shadows are dry. A little bit more there. There's our man. You don't have to slavishly follow each shape. And get the, the rod in then, like that. And maybe just a couple of rocks here, just to finish it off. Nice dark tones. Maybe there. So there's a little vignette. Of a man on a boat from the figure of eight. Now I'm going to simplify him and I'm going to put him into our picture. And I want to get some